Greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Previously, we headed back to Skyloft to, uh, to unlock the uh, Light Tower as a result from learning the lyrics from the Battle of the Goddess Song. So after some work, we are able to get to this Light Tower activated. Well, activated even further because we unlocked this new portion last time. Today we'll be using this portion to head to our next destination, wherever that may be. So to do that, just pull out your goddess harp, I think. I think it's supposed to pull out your goddess harp, I'm not sure. Yeah, then just strum it. I thought there would be another requirement, but I guess I was just thinking too much again. I seem to have that problem a lot. I'm doing really bad at this. <laughs> it's not that my volume is really low or anything. I'm just really off rhythm right now. I've never had this problem. Master, there's a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to the clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. And investigate we shall. I'm not going to put this off just so we can clear any other side uh, options or get any preparations done. Because we're just continuing on with the story and I don't want to interrupt the flow of it. Plus, I don't think there's really any danger to where we're heading right now. At least nothing that will be majorly affecting us. So let's head off to where the uh, destination of the beam went. We've seen this structure in the background of, uh, of the whole sky area in the past, but we never really got anywhere near it. That's because we couldn't access it until now. Also, there's those, those tornadoes. I'm not sure we've seen those yet, but if you do get affected by those tornadoes, then you'll be blowing off your loft lane. But you can just call it back to you. It's nothing more than that. There's more of a nuisance, if anything. Welcome to Inside the Thunderhead. Looks pretty gloomy for a place called the Thunderhead, but then again, what would I expect anything? more than the current setting. I'm not gonna expect any sunshine and rainbows, that's for sure. Especially with these flying things. I forgot what they're called. I'll be sure to show their names on the screen right now, but they are an enemy in this game because obviously they're attacking me. I mean, why else would they win it be here? <laughs> well, will those be for aesthetic purposes, but I'm getting off on a tangent right now. They're nothing more than just another nuisance to us. You can just attack them with your uh, with your Loftwing by charging at the back of them. That will take them out. Uh. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the Goddess, Master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. 
Okay, so we check this stone tablet. Rotate the center pedestal to complete the bridge that allows you to step to the Great Tower on the Isle of Songs. Yeah, so we gotta create a bridge as the tablet says. To do that, we have to use this three gem switches of, store of sorts. Uh, because if we use this turnstile thing, I'm not sure if it really is a turnstile. <laughs> but this will be the only way for us to make our bridge. Uh, these... Uh, these, uh, things, I'm not sure what, else, what to call them, but they represent the pieces of the bridge, and these are blockades that we can use to, uh, stop these, uh, stop those bridge segments in place. That's where we're gonna get the bridge activated. I should do a bad job of this right now. Might be a good way so far to do it. If this takes too long, I am gonna cut, obviously. Hopefully it won't take that much time. We'll push this. The key is to try to get the bridge segments aligned. That's how you'll be able to complete the entire bridge itself, in of itself. Okay, that should be good. I should press a little further. Come on, come on Link. Go down, thank you. All right, now how to handle this. I'm actually in the right spot right now. Just push this a little further. Then take down that blockade as soon as I can move out of the way. Oh, that's not going to do it. I want to keep that first place segment in place. No, that's going to block the other segment then. But I guess the only thing to do is try to align them all at once. That's probably the only way I could do this. Yeah, that thing was gonna get blocked off. Oh, I see what I have to do now. Strike that. And rotate. The nearest bird, bird, uh, bridge segment will get aligned with the others. Come on, come on, Link. Move. It's kind of hard to rotate because I, because I always think I have to rotate just or just move the control stick in one direction, but you have to actually move it the whole 360 degrees. So I guess that's why I'm having a bit more trouble controlling this than I usually do. Instruct strike this blockade down one more time. And we'll be good. One more move. Come on, Link. Work will be here. Thank you. Now we can access the inner portion of the Isle of Songs. By doing that, there's gonna be a little claw space that we can go into. Let's enter it and see what we can find. Another bird statue here in case you need to save. But what we really want to go to is this Hylian Crest. As we've seen all of these in the past. Okay, let's go with Strike. And let's see what happens next. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike of your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess attended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn the relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to purifying to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow upon to you a, me a, me a melody. Jeez, I can't speak today. It will serve you, you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep within the wilds of Farron Woods. <laughs> it's time to jam out!
That song is called Pharaoh's Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. Master, you must overcome the trial set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Pharaoh's courage to memory. Now you can use the, your dowsing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set up for Fern Woods as soon as you're ready. And now we've got the dowsing ability to reach the three trial gates. First one's gonna be a Fern Woods, as we've heard. So this is what I consider as the start of phase two or act two, as I call it, of Skyward Sword, because now we'll have to go back to the each of the regions we previously visited to find the trial gates. One of the problems that people have about Skyward Sword is that there's a lot of padding in terms of the story. And at this point, I really don't see it. It will happen at some point where the patty will get too far, too much even for me, but not right now. But this is kind of one of the things that rubs people in, in Scourge World the wrong way. I can kind of see it when we get to a certain point, but not right now. First, I want to take out this guy to demonstrate how to kill it. Get back here. I want to demonstrate your death, please. Not a very good way to put it, but that's what I'm trying to do. These things are showing no mercy to me, so I'm gonna do the same to them. Come on. Work with me here. There we go. Just ram it up this orange butt and you'll kill it. Sometimes you'll get rupees out of the deal if my memory serves you right. Okay, so now that we're out of the Isle of Song. Oh. I gotta fly back. <laughs> I just remember that we have to get the goddess chest and one of them are actually in the Isle of Songs. I think it might be on the top of it. Yes it is, I can see it off the, in the distance. Oh wait, that's not activated yet. So it must be the one around it. Probably to the rear of the Isle of Songs. Nope, uh, just on the right side of it. Okay, let's see what goddess chest number one of this little trek will get us. Ah, gold rupee, very nice, because I really need some money right now. Okay, so, so the second god's chest I'm going for is going to be right near the opening to the Linear Desert. Actually, to the east of it, where that beacon is. And it's going to be a mini volcano island of sorts. It's going to be on the outside of it. There's some gods, butterflies in there too. Oh, ringers. I wasn't high enough to get them. Oh well. This might give me some rupees anyways, hopefully. And, oh, it's a heart metal. Hearts will appear more often as long as you're carrying this. Uh, you worry about running out of hearts while out adventuring? Keep this with you. But our pouch is full, so it's going right to item check. Not that I really use it a lot, uh, but it's there if, you, if, you're, if you're paranoid about health in this game. We're approaching the next goddess chest location, and I believe we've actually been here before. Yes, we have. We did get a goddess chest in the past from that vine wall. But well, like I said, last time we were here, there was a second one. I just want to get rid of this beacon first. Now to access our bomb bag. So I'm pretty sure we didn't have this before, but now we do have a bomb. Or a bomb bag, rather. So we can blow up this blockade. And that reveals the second goddess chest. Oh, a heart, too. I have, I have to take some damage, as you can see. So I'm kind of going to need those right now. And this will be, I thought so, on Silver Rupee. That's why I wasn't collecting any out of my way here. And the last goddess chest shouldn't be too far from our current location. Yeah, right to the northeast on a higher island, if I remember correctly. I want to show that right now in first person view. I think it's right up there. Yes, it is. It's actually Beetle's Island. I wasn't expecting to see this uh, close to our last location, too. I thought it'd be a different one. Well, I was wrong. And this we get, yes, another piece of heart. Uh, and now we're up to 11 hearts. Starting off that second row, very nice. 
Is there anything else I want to do now? Now we're a bit far away from Skyloft, so I'm actually going to end the video for today. Yeah? I know, again, look doesn't look, look like we accomplished much, but we already got the next act, as I put it, of Skyward Sword starting. So we're going to make some preparations before we progress back into Fern Woods in the meantime. Take care of some side stuff, you know, side quest business, all that. I want to cover all that first. So next time on Skyward Sword, we'll be doing just that. Making preparations and taking care of some side quest business before we progress back into Farron Woods. Until we meet again, everyone. Farewell for now.